My dear brothers, on the occasion of this first televised mass, Almost 60 years ago, a Dominican father had the extraordinary idea of transmitting that year's Christmas Mass on television for the first time ever. The audience was sparse, but the impact was immense. Building on this success, Father Picard made a proposal to the still-faltering French television network to air a weekly Catholic program in Mass, all live. In the 50s, the Catholic, as it was called, took off, dedicated to religious education, producing the first Catholic films, opening the doors of the Carmel of Saint Therese, pilgrimaging with the faithful to Chartres, and in short, giving its audience a glimpse of the universality of the Church. It was a time of pioneers. The Catholic Association even invented Eurovision. Silence, the doors are about to open for the first audience granted by the Pope to television viewers. We have the highest expectations for television, for bringing the ever more brilliant revelation of truth to intellectually honest minds. Through the transmissions of the Mass and other church-related events, Le Jeu de Seigneur intuited some of the changes of Vatican II. During the Council, they reported the working sessions every week on television. The most important thing in this general change of climate is that instead of a church rather closed in on itself, a very clerical church structure, we have a church that is much more open to the world, a church much more the people of God. I think this is a promise for the future. Starting in 1965, Le Jeu de Seigneur began translating the ideas of the Council into images. A film crew was sent around the world, collecting testimonies of men and women, from both believers and non-believers. During the 80s, the issue became a must-see, and its special editions have multiplied, in Prague after the fall of the Berlin Wall, or more recently, live from Lebanon. Ou trois ans plus tard, en direct du Liban. Elle a été prononcée par un enfant du collège. The 21st century is witnessing a new search for spirituality. To answer this need, in 2005, Le Jour de Seigneur began to air programs to rediscover the basics of Christianity and to offer theological content. Have you ever noticed that before the priest offers the wine, he adds a little water to it? That is us. We are the water, while the wine is Christ. A wonderful combination, which also tells us of the two natures in Christ, God and man. For the first time, during the Pope's visit of September 2008, Le Jeu de Seigneur combined their experience with that of French television, proving that, for the oldest Catholic network, the story is just beginning.